Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is filming the full face using only my fingers challenge. In other words, I'm not gonna be using any makeup brushes, which honestly is a little bit scary because I like rely on my brushes like hardcore to get a flawless face and I've never ever done this. I know some girls have done this in the past, but apparently it's like a new thing that's kind of like resurfacing in the YouTube world. So I'm gonna be filming this challenge today. I did decide to come on camera with a bare face because I figured a bare face would be a lot better than a face that looks really crazy after using my fingers as tools. So if you guys like me and you guys like this video, do not forget to click right here somewhere to subscribe and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. All right, so I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously I'm going to put a little bit of lip balm on my lips, and I am using the Best Damn Lip Mask by Nicole Guerrero. Ooh, ooh, look guys, this honestly is not gonna go well. I like almost got it on my chin. And I apply lip balm with my fingers all the time. I guess I'm just a little bit nervous, so. Today I'm gonna to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid, and this one is in the shade Champagne Pop, go figure. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this on the back of my hand, and I'm going to just take it and just rub it all <laughs> So I'm putting sunscreen on. All right, so now that I have that, I'm going to go in with another primer, which is really going to smooth out my pores and make them look like a little bit more smaller <laughs> not like I have big pores anyways but I just feel like I need to do this step so to do that I am using the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this in this area right here guys I'm losing it like why did I try to put the Becca top on the Smashbox primer? I, I don't know. <laughs> now that my face is primed and ready to go, I'm gonna start on my brows. Today I am using the IT Cosmetics Waterproof 5-in-1 Microfiber Cream Gel. And this one is in Universal Taupe. And what I'm gonna do is instead of using like my fingers, I'm going to take my nail and I'm just going to dab it into the product like that. So that way there is a little bit of product at the tip of my nail. Just smooth my brows out with my fingers. And uh, I'm scared. I'm not flicking you guys off, I swear. Get, let me get a little, ah, my eyebrow gel ran away, BRB. Got him, got him. Okay, look at the flick of the finger. Look at the flick of the finger. All right, I can work with it, I can dig it. It was all in my face and I can't see, y'all can't see and I know someone is gonna complain. So, um, I'm now gonna prime my eyelids. You guys know, tried and true Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion. So I'm gonna take my nail and then I'm gonna just drag it underneath my brow. So I'm afraid this is as good as my brows are gonna get. Um, I'm now gonna move on to shadows. Today I'm using some new shadows that I've never used before here on my channel. These are by Belfiore Cosmetics. Um, I really love them so far. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this shade right here, which is just a vanilla shade in the shade Ballerina. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm gonna pat this all over my eyelids to set that eyeshadow base we just applied. Just hoping that this is just gonna make everything that much easier to blend. Now that we have that shade all of the lid, I'm gonna go in with my transition color. And this is Toffee by Belfiore. And I'm going to take this on my pinky and lightly, ever so lightly, just like blend it into my crease. What I'm doing is I'm actually patting my finger on the eyeshadow and then I'm just rubbing a little bit of it off so that way it's not like too overpowering and I don't have any harsh edges or harsh lines. Okay, it seems to be working. I'm really trying to blend. After a transition color, I'm going in with the shade Persimmon persimmon which is this yellow color right here one of my favorite colors ever and I'm gonna go back in with my pinky finger and I'm gonna try to do the same technique except I am gonna go in just a little bit deeper into the outer corners so that way we have more of a defined look as opposed to like the soft look we got going on <laughs> I'm dropping stuff I really am just going to just like pack it on pack it on pack it on I feel like using my pinky like really helps out because like my other fingers are just so large. Got them ogre fingers. Do I look crazy yet? <laughs> All right, anyways, the next shadow we're gonna go in with is this shimmery shadow. Ah! <gasps> Ooh, girl, girl. Going crazy, going crazy. Um, This is the shadow called Penny. <gasps> oh my God, the shadow is called Penny. Penny, this is Penny. 
My dog's looking at me crazy. She looking at me crazy. See? This is Penny. This is Penny. Where you see Penny at? Right here, Penny. Oh. See, my mom's curious. Guys, look, Pen ooh, Penny even came. Penny, this is Penny. Meet Penny. I'm gonna put you on my eyes. There's no Luna, I'm sorry, goodbye. So I have a little bit of Penny on my pinky and I'm going to put it in the very inner corners of my eyelid, trying to cover up all of this area right here that isn't blended. We're just gonna try to make it work. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm just going to, ooh, very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Guys, I'm like not coordinated on this side. All right, so the next color I'm gonna go in with is Crimson by Belfiore Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with my pinky finger and I'm gonna put a little bit of the product, tap the excess off. And I'm really gonna focus this on the outer corners to kind of, you know, just add a little bit more color. I guess we're kind of going for like a fall look and I'm going to do this in tapping motions. <laughs> no, I'm talking about. So that's about it for the shadow, at least for right now. I'm now going to tight line. Today I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. And when I say tight line, I mean kind of cover up that flap of skin right up there. So I'm going to take a little bit of this on my finger like that and i'm just going to look up and just drag it directly underneath i'm telling you these fingernails are just they're coming through they're coming through as a weapon and a tool all right um after that i'm wondering if i should do a wing Wondering if I should do a wing liner. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm actually probably going to take a little bit of this gel liner on my fingernail and I'm gonna rub some of it off. And I'm actually only gonna apply this to the very outer half of my eyelid to kind of like smudge it out for more of like a smudge smoke look. So I'm gonna apply it closest to my lash line. I don't know y'all, maybe I could get away with the full on wing. It's turning into a full on wing liner. So I'm not even gonna attempt to do a wing cause I'm not gonna embarrass myself. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm gonna take a little bit of this onto my fingers like so. And I'm just going to rub my fingers together and I'm going to pinch my lashes so that way I can evenly coat them. And I'm gonna apply falsies because I won't get lashes how I want them with with this method at all. Oh, almost poked myself in the eye. So essentially what I'm trying to do with this method is just to make my lashes as black as possible. So that way they aren't powdery or anything like that when I do decide to apply my falsies. The lashes I'm using today are in the style Coco by Coco Lashes. So I'm just going to wait for the glue to get tacky a little bit and then just pop them on my eyeballs. I'm gonna let my eyelash glue kind of dry up a little bit before tweaking the eyes just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna move on to foundation. Today I'm just using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the shade six. So I figured that this would be a really good foundation to apply with my fingers. This is so weird. I don't even have a mirror in front of me. Keep on blending, keep on blending. For my under eye concealer today, I'm gonna be mixing in both the Too Faced Born This Way and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to press this underneath my eyelids. Underneath my eyes. I'm also going to run it on the edges of this eyeshadow. So that way it doesn't look crazy. Before my concealer creases on me, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and I'm gonna bake underneath my eyes with my little finger. So I'm gonna take a lot of the powder on my finger, and I'm just going to press it into the concealer, like so. Just got all my fingers in the powder. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously right now. If you could literally see this, like, look at, look, can we just look at my shirt? My pants, the floor. 
Now that I look really crazy and really pale with no color on my face, I'm gonna go finish off the eyes, like the lower lash line. I'm going back into persimmon and I'm going to dab my nail into the powder. And I'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line in hopes that a miracle happens. And I got the eyeshadow all over my face. All right, you guys, we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna take a little bit of black shadow on my nail and I'm just going to place it closest to my lash line to create a little bit of definition. I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara to the back of my hand like that. And I think I'm gonna take my pinky finger, like I've been doing this whole time, and just try to brush it on my lower lashes, so. For the inner corners and also my brow bone, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shimmery color right here from the Jaclyn Hill uh, Champagne Collection palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of that color and I'm going to pop it. Mm, not, not a good look, not a good look. Then I'm also gonna place this at the very tip of my brow bone. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually apply my contour shade. Today I'm going in with the Kat Von D contour palette and I'm going to take a little bit of this onto my fingers and I'm just going to start by gently dabbing this into my hairline and then blending it outwards. I actually feel like I should have used the cream but I didn't really think about that. I've already applied powder to my face so I can't go backwards. Little bit of that powder that's left over on my fingers. I'm just going to place it on the nose. Oh Lord. For lips today, I'm gonna go in with two different MAC lipstick. One is in the shade Myth and the other one is in Gel. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm going to rub it on my Myth lipstick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pat this on the lips. To be honest, I really just didn't wanna go through the struggle of a liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna go the easy route. After looking at the lip pair with the eyes, I think it's a little bit too nude. So I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of Max Mocha on my finger as well. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm just going to dab it directly over top, kind of mixing the shades to get a different look. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for the full face using only your fingers challenge. Um, what do you guys think? How do you think I did? I think I did pretty decent. I will say that my contour, blush, and highlight look look a little bit crazy, but we're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna keep it rolling. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and also let me know what other challenge videos you guys want to see down there in the comments. I'm also going to be tagging some of my friends who have yet to do this challenge, in the description box, so if you see their names, go over there and say, hey, you should totally do the full face using only your fingers challenge because Ashley freaking tagged you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, Ashley Marie Vlogs. Subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. And I'm gonna bounce, I'm gonna go, I got things to do. So until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.